everyone, this is Yvonne from Yvonne Ceramics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hand build a berry basket like this one here. This one, ignore the bead design. These ones are over glazed decals that I need to fire. But um, it's a very cute little berry basket that you can hand build with a free template that you can get at the grocery store. So sometimes when you buy mushrooms or berries, they come in these little baskets at the grocery stores, like these guys. Sometimes they come in plastic, sometimes they come in this uh, paper, cardboard uh, material. I would suggest you pick ones that are um, cardboard or paper material because it's easier for you to cut and they're not as rigid as the plastic ones. So today we are going to use this as our template. So I have already, so it comes in like this, and I just use the pair of scissors to cut these sides, the four sides, and then flatten it. And this is my template for today. The first thing we need to do is roll out our slab. Um, I don't have a slab machine, so I'm just going to use um, two dowel sticks. So these are quarter of an inch dowel sticks and a regular rolling pin. You can get dowel sticks at your local hardware stores. So I'm just going to roll it out. So after I rolled out my slab, I am using my yellow rip here to smooth out all these uh, little wrinkles caused by uh, my rolling pin and also I'm using my rib to compress my slab as well to make sure it's smooth okay that looks good to me then next I have my berry basket template I'm just going to place it here on my clay slab and then I have my knife here for cutting my design out. So I'm just going to carefully trace around the template. As you can see, because this is a cardboard template, it is quite durable and not as rigid as the plastic template. So it's very easy to trace, quick and easy. This project is great for beginners um, with kids or your students at school because they can just easily trace it on their slab project. Alright, so after finish tracing and cutting my template, don't move your template yet. Next, I'm going to use my needle tool and I'm just going to lightly trace out these holes on the berry basket. So these holes are to drain out the water. So I'm just tracing it out. I'm not cutting it out yet. The reason why I'm tracing it with a needle tool is because if you see the holes, they are not exactly uniform. So after tracing it, I still need to do some editing with my knife. So just do a quick trace here. Okay, after tracing it, now you can take out your template. So you can see it's a beautiful template. Next, I'm using my knife again, and I'm going to cut out these holes. And I will cut them a little bit bigger than um, what I have traced. The reason for that is because um, Sometimes when you glaze, um, sometimes some of the glaze can create a layer that's a little bit thicker and it could close off those holes. So that's why I wanted to make sure the holes are a little bit bigger. And also after shrinking, there's a 12% shrinkage for my clay. 
so after the clay shrinks then the holes might become really small so those are the reasons why I want to make the holes a little bit bigger at this point and as you can see I showed you the example at the beginning of this video um, the holes weren't that big even after glaze firing and that's all because of the 12% shrinkage so I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting all the holes so I finished cutting the holes out next I'm going to just remove this outside excess slab and I have my berry basket next thing I'm going to bevel all these edges so that I can build them um, I'm using this tool here this is a beveled edge tool um, if I line it up along the edge and just cut down like that it will automatically create this beautiful 45 degree angle on my edge or if you don't have this tool you can just use a knife I'm going to show you with my knife here so this is made using the bevel tool and with a knife you can just angle it at, at 45 degree and just slice it down like that so both works i would use the bevel tool if i need to bevel a lot of edges if it's just a quick bevel i will just use my knife now that I have beveled all the edges, I'm using a scoring rib to score all the edges. If you don't have a scoring rib, you can use a scoring tool or just use a knife to scratch the edges because we're going to do slip and score. Okay, then next I am just going to apply a little bit of water along the edge. So this is what we call the slip and score. Then I am going to just take these two sides up like that. I'm going to join the top part first. And then I'm going to slowly push the edges together. Just like that. Okay, let me just zoom this in so you can see this better. Okay, so I will take this side up and push the top edge in first, like that. So after pushing the sides together, I'm going to put a small coil of clay along the inside corner here. So I've got a little bit of clay. I'm just going to put this in here, like that, and just smooth it along this corner edge and then I'm going to do the same thing for all four corners all right so I have finished cleaning up my berry basket I'm gonna show you I clean up the edges and the bottom and sealed up the corners. I know it's not uh, very pretty at the moment, but the clay is still quite wet um, and fresh. So that's why I'm not going to handle too much. I'm going to let it dry covered in plastic because there are lots of joints here. So I want to make sure it dries very slowly. But otherwise, that's it. That's how you make a berry basket. Very simple, easy if you have a template from the grocery stores. Um, if you're interested in how I decorate this berry basket, I will include a link of the video. I have decorated these baskets with underglaze, with carving and overglaze transfer. So you can check out that video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer them. So thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.